All right, so the film is inside the developing tank and now I need to open the monobath thingy. The instructions say I need to put it at 80 Fahrenheit. So let's see how hot this thing is. Three minutes at 80 degrees, so here we go. Time is running now. Uh, it says it should be agitated constantly, so that's what I'm gonna do. We should be on time. Very good. Still pretty clear, huh? I've never tried this before, but it says that you can develop 16 rolls with this. It's really hard to do this without a tripod, guys. I hope you appreciate the effort. <laughs> now I'm going to develop this thing. Develop. I'm gonna rinse it. That's the right word. So I'm gonna rinse this guy in here. Let's go, boy. All right. I don't know how much time are you supposed to rinse this. I'm just gonna rinse it how I usually rinse, which is uh, four sets of 30 uh, inversions. That's that's usually what I do. Let's, uh, let's, I'm gonna remove this. I don't know why I kept it. Ah! Oh God. That's the second one. I'm really happy about this kind of products. If it works, as I hope, and really wish it works, I'm really happy that uh, we're uh, living in these times where things become so easy. Like, you don't even need to <laughs> buy a lot of chemicals. Just nowadays, if you really want to get into film photography the fastest way possible, you can purchase one of these things and just get into it. I hope it works. I really hope it does, because the whole purpose of my channel is to promote film photography and prevent it from dying. Uh, which nowadays I don't think it's gonna die because a lot of people are switching to film photography because it's really cool. Um, but uh, sometimes starting on film photography can be a little bit haunting. Especially when you're a beginner and you get into the community. If there is a community and you start asking around like, Hey, what do I need to get? How many things? And you know, how does black and white developing words. There's a lot of people who are really uh, super technical oriented and will give like complex answers. I'm really happy that there's like this kind of products that can help people to just start into it uh, without much worrying. All you need is a developing tank, a changing bag and a thermometer. That's not too much to ask, man. Yep, we're done. All right, the moment of truth. Did it work? Oh, yes, it does. Man, look at these negatives. They look so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited right now. This is a really cool thing, man. This is really cool. Oh. Man, I am, I'm, I'm like, I'm so hyped. It's so simple, but I've never done a monobath before. It's so cool. Okay, this is my second development with the Cinestill DF96. Uh, this needs to be at 90 degrees because I'm going to push this film. In here I have some Ilford HP5 Plus that I shot at 1600. So according to the development times, this thing needs to be at 90 degrees and I need to develop for a little bit more of time. Instead of 3 minutes, I'm gonna make 6 minutes with minimal agitation. Uh, and I have to add 15 seconds because it's the second development. Every time you develop, you need to add 15 seconds. I'll have to pour the developer in here and agitate the first 10 seconds gently and then 5 seconds every minute. So every minute I'm gonna agitate for 5 seconds. Let's go! So first 10 seconds of agitation. And now it's gonna be 5 seconds every minute. So it's the waiting game. Let's wash it. Should I follow you? Yeah. <laughs> if I don't do it like exactly how it should be done, then I think it wouldn't be an honest report. So I'm trying to be as consistent as possible with the timings uh, that they say on the PDF. So I did it exactly 6 minutes and 15 seconds and I uh, agitated exactly 5 seconds every 1 minute and I agitated exactly 10 seconds the first minute so it should be good Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 
27, 28, 29, 30 con chetupico, vamos. Let's see how it works. I'm really excited to see if I can push the film to 1600. Oh, great. Let's see if the development is okay. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. It worked. 1600 worked. I'm gonna open the vent. Now, I'll place it on the film and drain. I have completely forgot that the foam of a film stains in a this green color. Alright, so this is the Cinestill DF96 developer. I tried it with a... Wait, I have it backwards. There you go. This... <laughs> I tried a lot of films with this thing. As you can see here, I developed a lot of film for this episode, a bunch of rolls. I developed Formaban 4x5 uh, that I shot with Speed Graphics. I developed the Jessica shoot film episode that you saw, uh, the Jessica A. I developed this black and white 25 ASA film from Northern Film Labs, uh, which I ended up developing like a little too thin. I needed more time to develop this, uh, but it's an experimental. And I'm gonna talk about that very briefly. Uh, and I also developed a bunch of HP5 Plus uh, and some Acros. So here's my review. Here's my take on this. I mean, first, let me get a little bit of coffee. Quick word, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. It's worth it if you're going to develop like a little amount of rolls every single time. Uh, if you're planning on going out on vacations and shooting like 20 rolls of film and then coming home and develop everything with this, it might take uh, a little bit more time than you expect. If you're gonna shoot a lot of rolls, the best option is just buying a big, like Patterson tank, like an eight reel one and just load all the rolls in there and develop with some D76 or something because D76 or x um, are actually not very expensive. You can make like a gallon of that crap and just <laughs> develop it like crazy and develop several of those eight, like Patterson eight reel tanks. That's like really easy to do. Uh, if you have a bunch, bunch, bunch of film to develop, that's the best option. If you're a casual shooter, like for example, in my case, I was shooting one roll for the episode and then uh, a few days later, I shot another roll at 1600 with the EOS M to develop and see how it looked, uh, pushed on this thing. And then if I needed to shoot another roll, I would do it like the next day. Or then I tried the Spreak Graphlex uh, with the Fumapan 100 and I was like, oh, I wonder how this works. If you're making like small sessions of development and every time you develop one or maximum two rolls, this is a really great option. This is probably the best option for that. Um, that being said, the chemistry, I don't know how much it lasts. I did not see a performance change on this thing. Like once I developed the foam pan and then I kept developing other things uh, with this, I did not see a change like, oh my God, it's not developing properly or whatever. No, it was working okay. Um, but I don't know how much it would last. My guess is, as I was saying, these are really good really good <laughs> this is a really good option if you're developing like small quantities of film like one or two in a small tank uh, that's fine this is perfect for that endeavor if you're wondering how this works it's super easy you just grab this guy and you heat it until 27 degrees celsius uh, and you pour it in the tank where your chemicals are and you just agitate it for three minutes that's the standard um, there's a chart with all the timings of the films that you can develop or that are like um, accounted for uh, with this developer and you can see like oh I have a 
I don't know, an HP 5 Plus. Let me see. Oh, here it is, HP 5 Plus. And, but what if I want to push it? And there's like a pushing section, but there's like a normal, regular development that you just use. Usually for developing film at their like stock speed, you just grab your film, put it there, three minutes, you're done. Now, that being said, it's three minutes the first time you use the chemicals. Now, the second time it's three minutes and 15 seconds. Then the next time it's 3 minutes 30 seconds, 3 minutes 45 seconds, 4 minutes, and so on and so forth. Um, the website says that when you reach 8 minutes total, that's like you're done. Like That's the longest you can ever get. Uh, the, the, the chemicals are expired and that's it. I got to 4 minutes and 15 seconds developing. Uh, and it was just fine, like it had no problem. I was developing two rolls at a time. I don't know how long it lasts, I will be lying to you. I, don't, I have no idea if this thing lasts for like months and months and I can develop like 20 rolls, I have no clue. Now, not everything is perfect on the DF96 land. There are some minor issues that have to do with how new this product is. For example, there are some films that are not on the table and you just have to guess. So, for example, Acros 100 is not on the table. So I just had to guess it will be pretty much the same as developing HP 5 Plus or any other development, uh, like any other film that you just throw it there as a stock development, three minutes and like that's it. Three minutes plus the amount of 15 seconds for the time you develop the thing. But it didn't work with all the films. Like this is the black and white 25 ASA from Northern Film Labs and it, like you can see what it's there and the scanner got it pretty much all right but it's a really thin negative so i develop it normally i put this alongside a roll of hp5 plus and i develop it for um the three minutes plus the amount of uh, 15 seconds for that development i guess it was the four minute development um and this is clearly underdeveloped so there are some films that are not as clear cut as you might expect um and there's a little bit of a guesswork too uh, of course, because it's a new product. So if you want to push your Tri-X to 6,400, then you, you get into uncharted territory, man. You're, you're on your own over there. Or if you're pushing your HP 5 Plus to 3,200, um, you know, the chart only tells you how to go to 1,600. Beyond that, you're just hoping the timings will be constant because otherwise you have no idea so that happens but my take on this is as follows if you buy this you're buying something that's a one-step developer it's really simple and you just want to shoot develop and have fun scan your stuff and that's it you're not shooting 20 rolls a week you're not shooting like every single day, you're shooting once a week, like a roll with the family and the kids and you just want to develop something and you don't want to have like a big stock of, you know, weird development gear and stuff. If you just want to go a simple way, this is the most simple way you can get. But my point is, if you buy this kind of developer uh, and fixer, if you buy this monobath, that's that's a better way of saying it. Let me, let me rephrase it. If you buy the monobath, you are not developing really weird things like you're not shooting experimental black and white film you're not cross-processing or you're not trying weird stuff this is a user-friendly product and the main concept is to keep it simple so if you're into really experimental things and you go like oh i'm gonna develop this film and i'm gonna do this weird thing and i'm gonna push it to its limits and try like a 12,800 or whatever asset you want to go to this is not the product you're looking for. You're looking for a more specialized tool, probably some XTOL or so D76 or some other black and white developer. But this is for the simple solution. This is like the straightforward. This is the thing that you buy when you want to just simplify things. Would I recommend it? Depends on what you do, man. For me, it was fantastic because I was like, I need to develop just one role and go on with my life. And this took me just three minutes and then like one more minute or a minute and a half of washing, um, rinsing the film and that was it. Like in five minutes or four minutes and a half, it was just hanging. Whilst when I use the black and white traditional method, it's usually five minutes just for developing and then from five to 10 minutes of fixing and then two to three minutes of rinsing. Uh, so in total, it's like a 
full like 12 or 15 minute operation. So this thing cuts your time in one third, which is pretty amazing. I don't know if I would purchase this on a regular basis solely because whenever I shoot like one episode, I'm usually shooting more stuff on the background. Um, but now that I'm starting my PhD, I might not have that much time to develop. So I don't know, man, I, I, I purchased a D76 bag of like to make one uh, gallon of D76 and it's lying there. I haven't used it. So um, I have some Extol lying there. I'm not using it. I've been using this for the whole month. Has it exceeded my expectations? I think it matched my expectations because I thought if they're promoting like a mono bath that sounds too magical to be true, uh, then there must be a catch. And the catch is just the amount of developer and, and fixer, the amount of mono bath that you get, um, but also the amount of uses you can make out of this. So of course you can label up here how many roles you've developed so you remember uh, the timings that you need to add. Like every time you develop a new batch, you need to add 15 seconds. So it, you better uh, take this into account so you keep remembering uh, the timings. Aside from that, uh, which little by little extends the amount of time that you need to be developing, aside from that, I think it's a terrific tool. I really liked it. I cannot, um, I cannot not recommend it. Depends on the kind of shooter you are. For me, uh, historically, it wouldn't make sense but now that I don't have that much time, it would make sense, maybe. I might buy more of this for me. This was given to me by the guy who said uh, Sinistil, um, but this is all they gave me, so the next one I have to buy it. It's like a drug, it's like a gateway drug. Want some developer, kid? First one's free. So that's my review. If you don't have time to develop a lot of film or you don't shoot a lot of film, you have like a busy life and you're just looking for something easy to use, develop your film and just have some fun every once in a while, this is a really cool option. I don't know how long the shelf life is on this. Like if you develop your rolls and then you leave it on your shelf and you don't touch it for a month or two, will it still be going? I don't know. Um, that would be a nice experiment to have. I might try it later on and give you my impressions. Maybe not on a video, but probably on an Instagram post or something. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this. But for now, uh, for a regular use, it's a really good option and I highly suggest it. Uh, check it out. It's not the cheapest developer there is, but as I said, if you buy this kind of stuff, you're looking for convenience and you pay for your convenience of just developing one or two roles and just use as little time as possible, which it's really good. I think that's all I have to say. If you have any other questions, just go on and ask me. And I guess, yep, I will see you next week with another episode. So until then, just keep shooting, guys.